Hello friends, my name is Jayvi. Today we are going to learn about isentropic process. And I will be going to discuss about how T2 divided by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma is equal to V1 by V2 raised to gamma minus 1. Many a times whenever isentropic process will be taken during the derivation of any cycle, this equation must be utilized. So from where this equation is derived, that we need two normals. So in order to knowing this isentropic process, I have drawn two diagrams, PV and TS. The PV diagram is something like curved line for isentropic process, and TS diagram is a straight line because entropy remains constant. The value of S1 is equal to S2. Remains same. So that's why it is a vertical line in the case of TS or HS diagram. Isentropic process is similar to the adiabatic process in which no heat transfer taking place between the system and its surrounding. Let's, uh, in order to derive this equation, let's start with the perfect gas flow. E1, V1 is equal to MIT1. And for the adiabatic process, P V raised to gamma is equal to constant. Gamma is the adiabatic index. Its value is 1.4. Means, P1, V1 raised to gamma is equal to constant means for point number 1 and point number 2, the product of this value remains same. P1, V1 raised to gamma is equal to P2, V2 raised to gamma. So from this equation, I am taking P1 divided by T2 is equal to V2 by V1 raised to gamma. This is equation number 2, this is one equation number 1. From the equation number 1, we can say that P1, V1 divided by T1 is equal to MR. MR is a constant value where R is a base constant. So, is equal to also P2, V2 divided by P2. So, P1 by P2, ultimately from this equation, we can say that P1 by P2 is equal to V2 by V1 into T1 by T2. So, that P1 by P2 we are taking from this equation, it means V2 by V1 raised to gamma is equal to the same equation here. So what should we get? Whenever this one will be available here, it means inverse of it. So V2 by V1 raised to gamma minus 1 is equal to T1 by T2. Equation number 3. From the equation number 2, that's here. It means that V2 by V1 raised to gamma is equal to P2 by T1. Uh, that uh, V2, it means if I am Putting this gamma here, then it will be 1 upon gamma, inverse of it. So V2 by V1 is equal to P1 by P2 raised to 1 upon gamma, equation number 4. So in this equation, in equation number 3, we are putting the value of equation number 4 in equation number 3. Means V2 by V1 will be derived from P1 by P2 raised to 1 upon gamma instead of V2 by V1. So what instead of V2 by V1, I am putting P1 by P2 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Gamma minus 1 will be there and 1 upon gamma is the value taken here. So it's also equal to T1 by T2. So from the equation number 3 and 5, we can say that T1 by T2 is equal to P1 by P2 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma and V2 by V1 raised to gamma minus 1. Listen here, whenever there is a T1 temperature is at the above, the V2 volume will be above. It's inversely proposed But whenever T1 temperature is here, only P1 is here and that is a difference in gamma minus 1 and gamma minus 1 upon gamma. That's it. So I am reversing it. P2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma and V1 by V2 raised to gamma minus 1. P2, P2 and V1. Okay. There are some other processes. Isothermal process means temperature remains constant. Isohoric process means volume remains constant. Isobaric process means pressure remains constant. An isentropic process means entropy remains constant. Thank you.